Hey guys, and good morning. It is Friday. It's just about 8 o'clock in the morning, and this little one is a little cranky. You're a little cranky. Want to say hi to everyone? Yeah, it is Friday morning around 8 o'clock. She usually gets therapy on Fridays, but today her therapist had to reschedule because I think a family emergency came up. So she's not going to be getting therapy today, but she does have a doctor's appointment. She has a checkup, um, just her four-year checkup. And then it worked out perfect just because she is a little congested and she's had a really bad cough for a few days that won't go away. So I'm going to have them check her out and see what is wrong with her. And then after, I'm going to go work out. But I want to do a day in the life. I've only done one day in the life on my channel. So I want to do another one. So I think I will take you guys along with me for the entire day. We have a few things we have to do. Like I said, we have to take her to the doctors. You just broke my face, girl. We have to take her to the doctors, then I'm going to go work out. I'll probably pick up some lunch from Chick-fil-A for me and the kids. And then we have to go grocery shopping, and then we also have to go to Target. I know I just went to Target like two days ago, but I completely forgot. We were almost out of um, laundry detergent and fabric softener, so I have to go pick that up. And then I think that'll be it. I don't think we have any other plans. We'll be home for the rest of the day after that, but... Yeah, I want to take you guys along with me today. I'm about to drink some coffee, and then we'll probably leave in about 20, 30 minutes. But say hi, everyone. Say I'm a little cranky. She only is happy if I'm carrying her, and my arm is about to fall off because she's getting pretty heavy. Ryan's over there eating his breakfast. Say hi. All right, guys, I will check in with you guys in a little bit, maybe once we get to her doctor's appointment. Mm. The doctors? What are you doing? Yay. Playing with Flat Stanley? What are you doing, Ryan? What are you doing? Playing. You're playing? Eye. Let that one go. Okay, now okay. Uncover. No, uncover. <laughs> no, no. <laughs>
it is now 12.30 and I just left the gym and now we are in the Chick-fil-A um, line. We're gonna get some Chick-fil-A for lunch and then we didn't have any plans to go to our friend's house but we are going to stop by our friend's house and hang out with them for maybe about an hour. We're not gonna stay there for too long because like I said, we still have to go grocery shopping. I have to go to Target and I completely forgot I have to drop off my prescription because the doctor prescribed um, one medicine that I'm supposed to take a week before my procedure and my procedure is next week so I have to start taking it this weekend and then he also prescribed a pill that I have to take I think like an hour he said before my procedure so I need to do my prescription because I completely forgot about that so that is what we are doing now and then I need to take a shower too before I run the rest of my errands because I feel very sweaty from working out. So we will pick up this Chick-fil-A, hang out with our friends for about an hour, and then I'll go home and take a shower and stuff. So see you guys later. I got her! Dog. What are you guys doing? I did. I went first. Wait, wait, I didn't say Hey Max. Okay. Where's Charlie? Charlie! Hi Charlie! Are you ready, Ryan? Are you picking up Angie's weeds? Hey guys, so an update. My car won't start. We came to Target before um, going back home just because Target was right next to my friend's house and I didn't feel like going all the way home and then coming back out to Target. And I get to Target, I park, and I try to get my key out of the ignition and it's stuck. It will not get out of the ignition. I tried everything. I tried pressing on the brake, I tried moving the wheel, and nothing is working. And my husband's not answering the phone, and my friend has to bring her daughter to track me. She has to track me, and I feel bad because they're trying to figure out if they can come and help me. I don't know. We're thinking that the battery might be dead, which I kind of don't understand because I'm pretty sure we just bought a new battery not too long ago, and we just had the car in the shop for like three or four days, and we had to get a bunch of new stuff in the car and it's hot I'm like sweating and this sucks because at least if the car i can get the key out of the ignition even if the car didn't start i can at least go into target where there's air conditioning and sit down and wait until either roadside assistant can come help me or my husband or somebody but i can't be going inside because the key won't get out of the ignition and i obviously don't want to leave the key in the car in the ignition while i'm in the store and i'm like sweating so bad of course this happens on a day where it's pretty hot here in georgia right now i don't know it's probably like almost 80s i think it's like 78 today so yeah i had the kids sitting outside with me but then two huge bumblebees came and we had to get into the car so yeah now i'm just waiting for hopefully my husband to call me back and then i think my friend's going to try and stop by really fast to see if they jump me jump my car It'll start, and then I guess I won't be able to go shopping into Target. I'll just go straight home until my husband can figure out what's wrong with the car. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. So I don't think this Target trip or grocery shopping is going to happen tonight or today, which sucks because I have a ton of things to get done today, and now it's all ruined. Madison's in the front seat with me. Maddie, hey. <coughs> Ryan's back there. All right. Say we're stranded. Uh. Yeah, it's okay. We'll get home eventually. This sucks though, guys, because we just spent like two grand on having the car in the shop. And now I don't even know what's wrong with the car. So we'll probably have to bring the car back to the shop and see what's wrong with it. Um, and then I have to get that procedure done on Friday to my tooth, which is going to be another like, I think, 2000 have to get some like bone grafts done or bone bridges grafts i don't know i think i have to get two bone grafts done so this sucks it's a lot anyways guys i guess we're just going to sit here in the car until we can get some help and i'll update you guys in a little bit hopefully next time i update you guys we will be saved on the way home robert is here i can fix the car what it was was i guess when we brought it to the shop and got it fixed um they loosened some wires where the battery was and they didn't tighten one of them correctly so it ended up falling off and that is why my car didn't start 
thankfully it wasn't anything major so we don't have to bring it back to the shop and spend a lot of money to get it fixed so Barbara's here still working on it we're about to go into Target right we'll hopefully Madison will be happy huh yeah it'll. maybe I can get Madison you guys some popcorn we'll be working on grabbing okay she's in the floor anyways guys I'm about to go into Target now and go shopping what do you want to say um, I just want to say now we go we're going to see Train that broke key down the road. Oh gosh. Do you guys want some popcorn? Get the kids some popcorn because they're both really cranky now. We've been out here for like an hour. And I'm still looking hot mess, no makeup, still my workout clothes. But anyways guys, I'll see you guys in a little now in Target. And this is homekeeping that the kids come. How to get them snacks. Madison, you're eating. What are you eating? You're eating some Cheetos. And Ryan, what are you eating, Ryan? Some bunny crackers. So I've experienced my first Target trip where there wasn't a very nice employee. So we went to the bakery or like the Did little cafe and my husband was with me. He was going to get a pizza and like breadsticks because he hasn't eaten lunch. And then I was going to get the kids popcorn and a drink and there was no one at the register. So I asked the girl that was at the Starbucks, which was right next door. And she said, sorry, no one's there until 4 o'clock. And then there was another employee, I guess, who was training. And she's like, you can't get anyone just to ring them up really fast. And the other lady was, like, really rude. She was like, no, there's no one there until 4 o'clock. And I was really tempted to just walk out. But I didn't because I need to get a few things. But, yeah, that was my first Target experience that wasn't very lovely. So we're just going to shop around, waiting for my prescription to be done. And then we'll probably go home. Target's pillow so she can be comfy. She's sleeping so I can go shopping more. <laughs> hey guys, so it is after five o'clock and we are finally home. And please excuse my appearance. I had planned on coming back home, like I said, taking a shower and putting on a little bit of makeup and looking a little decent, but unfortunately my car didn't want to start and I had that little hiccup that's a part of life. This is definitely a real day in the life. So I thought I would just show you guys what I got from Target. Although I just did a Target haul and Target shop with me, I had to go back. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys really fast what I bought. I didn't buy much because like I said, I was there the other day. I'm not gonna go grocery shopping today like I had originally planned because Madison's super cranky right now and going to the grocery store with her being cranky, it's just not gonna work out. So I just picked up some chicken from Target really fast so I can have some chicken to cook tonight for dinner. So I picked up a pack of chicken and then I found that this chicken, it looked interesting, looks really good. So I thought I would try this out. It is Parmesan breaded chicken breast cutlets. So I picked up that and I thought that would be like a really easy meal for during the week or something. Then I got something else for my niece. I got her a pair of leggings, well a pack of leggings. It comes with two and I got her these. Then I got Madison some detangler. I really like the Honest brand, but the one that I usually get, they were out of stock, so I just grabbed this one. And then 
Ryan needed some more toothpaste and mouthwash, so he picked up this mouthwash and he picked up Peppa Pig toothpaste, which I'm really surprised because Madison's the one who loves Peppa Pig, but this is what the toothpaste that he picked out. So the rest is just going to be cleaning products, I think. So the first thing is going to be these Clorox toilet wand refills. I really love this wand. It's little disposable, little, I don't even know, they're like discs and they clean your toilet. So every use you use a new one and then when you're done, you just throw it away. So I love that. Then I needed some more bathroom cleaner. So I bought this seventh generation powerful clean. It is for tub and tile. So I bought that and we needed some more Lysol wipes. So I just bought a big pack of the Lysol wipes. And then we needed some fabric softener, bought some fabric softener. I did buy um, laundry detergent, but I guess I left it in the car. Okay. And the next thing I picked up, I've always wanted, I thought it was really cool, I just never picked it up. It is these like little letter boards. It's originally 15 on clearance for $4.48. So I picked up this, I have no clue where I'm gonna put it, but I grabbed that. And then the last item that I bought is actually for myself. I didn't plan on buying anything for myself, but I found this on clearance and I couldn't pass it up. So it is a purse by the brand And Away. It was originally 25 on clearance for $12.48. And I thought this would be a perfect spring bag. And I honestly like large purses and bags like these, like the oversized ones. I know a lot of people don't because it is a hassle carrying around. But I like it personally because my daughter is still in diapers and I hate having to carry my purse plus a diaper bag. So if I have a big purse like this, then I can put her diapers, her wipes, and then a change of clothes in this bag, as well as all of my personal stuff. And then I usually will throw snacks in for the kids. So I like these big bags. They also had two other colors. I think there was a green color. It was like a really dark green on the top and then like a lighter green in the bottom. And then they also had one that was gray on top and then I think pink in the bottom. But I really liked this one, so I grabbed this. And then the only other thing I got from Target was my prescription, which I already put away and it sucks. I have to actually go back on Monday. One of the prescriptions that I needed, they did not have in stock. They said that they were out of, which is crazy to me that a pharmacy was out. But yeah, they were out of one of the prescriptions that I needed. So I have to go back on Monday and pick that up. But yeah, that is all I bought from Target this time around. Um, Can I tell a friend something? <clears throat> yeah, hold on. Um, I'm going to start preparing dinner, cooking dinner, and then I'm going to take the kids a bath, get them ready for bed, and then tomorrow I guess we will go grocery shopping. So mm -hmm. today has been a very, very long day. I'm so tired. Are you tired? Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, I am going to go get dinner ready, and then I will see you guys in a few. You're doing it slow motion? Sit up, Madison. You're going to drown. Okay, I'm finished already. Are you going to dunk it? Okay. Madison, sit up. I'm going to Uh-oh, I fell down. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, let's try Madison, again. sit up. Let's Thank you. Again. Thank you. Whoa, it went water again. It's really strong. Okay, we don't get I'll have to fix it in a minute.
okay? Good night. I love you. And now I'm going to have to come into this room a few times to put you back to bed. Sleep in, sunny. Love you. Hey guys, so it is now the next day, but I just realized I never filmed an ending to yesterday's day in the life vlog. So I just wanted to jump on here really fast and thank you guys for watching. Also, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Also remember to turn on the notification bell so when I do upload, then you are notified that I have uploaded. And also comment down below if you enjoyed this day in the life and then maybe I could start doing them for you guys more often. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.